here's the chain bolt attached to the chain bracket with approximately 30 foot of chain on there and I have it going through the drive gear and the idler wheels, wheels right now and when I put pressure on it the chain gets about how tight it's going to be maybe one or two more links yeah so now what I'll do is I'll put pressure on it like that and then I'll put pull my chain up to here and then I'll, I'll look at the link relative to the eyelet on the uh, chain bolt and then I'll break that link and then put a master link in there and attach it to this and then we'll manually open and close the gate once and put the cover on once we see that there's a hundred percent no obstructions the gate operator does not need to be moved relocated or anything then we'll go ahead and burn the uh, and when I say burn I mean uh, finish welding the gate operator right now it's uh, it's stable and it's not going anywhere it's got four welds on there and uh, that'll be good uh, for our purposes and then I'll I'll just put uh, uh, bigger welds longer welds and structurally make it more sound have the chain installed had the chain bolts tightened and I have my limits set so took the chain put it on there got about an estimate of where it needed to be put the gear uh, in uh, uh, where it was locked and uh, pushed on the gate pulled the chain and then I marked where I was going to uh, break the chain I uh, broke it I then took the chain off the drive gear put the chain bolt on threaded the chain back through the drive gear and then put uh, put the chain bolt on and uh, tightened it it's just a little bit easier that way as opposed to pushing on the gate like I'm doing now pushing on the gate and then trying to get the um, master link on there and get it uh, threaded properly and then get that uh, small solid piece on there because uh, if you don't the weight of the gate will spread those two apart the two prongs of the master link apart and uh, it'll be uh, near impossible to get that uh, that solid piece on there and um, and then get the clip on there so um, with this the alignment of the idler wheel and the sprocket is very very important you can be out a little bit up and down because the chain naturally bends like that but the chain does not bend like that naturally it has just a little bit of flex where it can go left and right and too much uh, over a, a long period of time will just wear and break so we want to make sure that uh, we got our left and right and of course in this case we uh, do but why don't we take a look at it from down here let's do the foot pedal release take a look at the chain and then we'll just take a look at it as we're rolling it it's going to be kind of hard to see from this angle but once we get closer you'll see how we're looking see how it's level with the gate the gate track level with the gate level with the idler wheels and square with it left to right.